First, it's important to know that Cayo Coco is a small island located off the north coast of Cuba. It's known for its beautiful beaches and crystal clear waters, making it a popular destination for tourists. It's also a good idea to brush up on your Spanish skills before visiting Cuba. While many locals speak English, it will be easier to communicate and navigate your way around the island if you can speak some Spanish. Once you're off the plane in Cayo Coco, you will need to go through and see a Cuban custom officer, where you will present your passport and tourist card in order to get into the country. One important thing to know as a tourist is that you'll need to obtain a tourist card before traveling to Cuba. This card is essentially a visa that allows you to enter and stay in the country for a certain period of time. You can obtain a tourist card from a Cuban embassy or consulate before your trip, or you can purchase one at the airport upon arrival in Cuba. Be sure to keep your tourist card safe and secure during your trip, as you will need to present it when leaving the country. If you book with any travel companies or all-inclusive packages then the price is already included for your tourist card. The Cuban healthcare system is known for its universal coverage and emphasize on preventative care. The government provides free medical care to all citizens, and the country has a relatively high doctor-to-patient ratio compared to other developing nations. When it comes to travel, some countries require proof of health insurance before allowing entry into the country. This is the case for Cuba. People visiting Cuba are advised to have travel insurance that includes coverage for medical expenses in case of unexpected illness or injury. Once you're outside of the airport, you will see a lot of buses. These buses will take you to your all-inclusive hotels depending on if you book with a travel agency or an all-inclusive package, make sure to ask the driver what hotel he's going to. I find some hotel names might be the same such as Memories Carib Beach and Memories Flamingo Beach Resort. Some hotels can be 30 to 45 minute drive away from each other's, so don't make the mistake of taking the wrong bus. When it comes to getting around the island in Cayo Coco, you have a few options. You can either rent a car. Most all-inclusive hotel will have a car rental office on the hotel resort. Another way to get around Cayo Coco is to take a taxi, which you can bargain with the driver before he drives you. The local bus system which cost 5 Canadian dollars. A double-decker bus that stops at all the all-inclusive hotels in Cayo Coco, to its last stop at Playa Pilar Beach, I will be doing a separate video on the activities you can find at this beach. It's one of the most popular beach here in Cayo Coco. It's important to know that Cuba used to have two official currencies. The official currency in Cuba is now the Cuban peso. However, Cuban residents can also use a digital currency called moneda, librement, convertible. The Cuban peso has no value outside of the country, so be mindful of how much you will exchange. I find you're better using your Canadian or American dollars than exchanging to Cuban peso, most Cuban would rather the Canadian or American dollars, as it goes a longer way. Number one, don't change your Canadian dollars into Cuban money. Cuban money is good for nothing. You cannot buy anything with Cuban money. We prefer now your Canadian dollars or American dollars. In terms of the value of the Cuban currency, it's worth noting that prices in Cayo Coco may be higher than in other parts of Cuba due to the island's popularity with tourists. That being said, the cost of living in Cayo Coco is generally lower than in many Western countries, so you should still be able to enjoy your trip on a budget. Another thing to keep in mind is that internet access is limited in Cuba, and it can be difficult to find a reliable connection on the island. If you need to stay connected while you're in Cayo Coco, you may want to consider purchasing a Wi-Fi card from a local provider. These cards can be purchased in 1 hour, 5 hour, or 30 day increments and will allow you to access the internet at designated hotspots around the island. Every all-inclusive resorts in Cayo Coco, Cayo Guillermo, Cayo Perdin and Cayo Cruz provide Wi-Fi to their guests, and the majority of them now offer this service for free.
You can use the hotel's free Wi-Fi which only can be used in certain places around the resort depending on the hotel you stay at. If you're looking to make calls back home, it's a good idea to check with your phone carrier to see if your cell phone will work on the island. Some carriers have roaming agreements with Cuban phone companies, while others do not. If your phone will not work in Cuba, you may need to purchase a local SIM card or can rent a phone upon arrival. Overall Cayo Coco Cuba is home to a range of all-inclusive resorts that offer something for everyone, whether you're looking for a relaxing beach vacation or an action-packed adventure. Take a tour outside of the tourist belt. With a tour company called Gaviota Tours. So, we're gonna do a lot of activities today. So I'm going to show you, I have the pleasure of showing you my reality, Cuban reality, which is completely different to the reality of Cayo Coco or Cayo Gear. Okay, there's nothing to do here with the Cuban reality. Most of the hotel will be affiliated with this tour company which you can easily book your tours inside the hotel where it will be safer and much cheaper. We took a tour with Gaviota Tours to a town called Moron. Where we got to experience the real Cuba. There are many things to consider when planning a trip to Cayo Coco Cuba. From obtaining a tourist card and purchasing travel insurance, to brushing up on your Spanish and familiarizing yourself with the local culture, there are many steps you can take to ensure that your trip goes smoothly. With its beautiful beaches, crystal clear waters, and rich history and culture, Cayo Coco is a truly special destination that you won't want to miss. So why wait? Start planning your trip today and discover all that this amazing island has to offer.